Hannah McCabe looks like your typical high school sophomore. A member of the JV field hockey team at Archbishop Mitty, you can usually find her here, after school, with stick in hand playing field hockey with her fellow Monarchs. But what makes her unique from her teammates is what Hannah does after practice when she trades in her field hockey stick for another stick, her baton. After field hockey practice, I just get right in the car and I don't eat dinner and go to Baton. We're here from 6-ish to 8. And I go home after 8, so I get home around 8.30 and finish all my homework, eat dinner, shower, and go to bed. I know myself as one of our coaches, work really hard with their other coaches to try to come up with a flexible medium for all of us to be able to have her. It's a hectic life, but Hannah, who first became interested in the baton at a very young age, cannot imagine her life without it. When I was very little, my cousin was a baton twirler, and I used to go to her parades and watch her twirl, and one day I just told my mom, like, I want to be just like her. Hannah's dreams soon became a reality as her skills in the baton progressed. It wasn't really that good until I was about 12 years old and I started winning like state, national, and regional titles. And when she was in her 9, 10, and 11 year old age group, she just really started flourishing and showing the potential of what she's grown into today. She's learned to not only twirl one baton and to add a second baton in and then a third baton and she feels just at ease with one baton in her hand as she does with two and three. Hannah's baton career reached new heights this past summer when she took first place out of 900 other twirlers at the U.S. National Baton Twirling Championships in Florida. It's a very exhausting competition. You wake up every morning at like 5 in the morning and you twirl until 11 at night and it's the highest competition that you can go to in the U.S. To get to such an elite level, Hannah has made tough sacrifices along the way. There are so many things I sacrifice, like socially through like my freshman year, and there's a lot, you're trying to make friends, but there's some things I couldn't go to, but once you stand on the podium at nationals, you know it's completely worth it. Even when her individual career is over, Hannah knows baton will be a part of her life forever. After I stop twirling, whenever that is, I want to just give back, because the sport has given me so many things I cannot return. To be successful in baton, you need to be focused and dedicated. Hannah is both. And though her classmates may not know of her success, she is proud to be at the top of her game.